hands so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down. Eight ounces of cold water. Today's video is sponsored by AG1. Complete game changer, you guys. I've been taking this for the last couple of months every single morning. I've mentioned it here and there on a few vlogs, but I really wanna talk about it in depth today. So I did take some cold water. I like to put ice in my water. And I'm taking one scoop and dropping it straight into my eight ounces of water. So I just pour one scoop into my eight ounces of ice cold water. And then I stir it up. All of this, putting it together, takes less than a minute. I love the mild flavor of it. It's like a pineapple-y, vanilla flavor. It's very, very mild. I love it. A lot of people do think drinks that are this color taste like wheat or grass, or they never know what flavor they're gonna get. This has a really nice subtle taste to it. I can taste the hints of pineapple, I can taste the hints of vanilla. I love this bottle that it comes with. You can shake your AG1 up with water right in here. If you can't get on the pineapple and vanilla, very mild flavor of the AG1, you can mix it instead of with water with juice or with coconut water or whatever you wanna mix it with. Me personally, I love the flavor. It goes down very smooth and light. I love to chug mine first thing in the morning. Super easy to wash. So AG1's mission is definitely empowering people to take control of their health. A more nutritional approach for supplementation. AG1 is science-driven formulation of vitamins, probiotics, and gut health, and whole food sourced ingredients. AG1 supports brain, gut, and immune health. It combines what you would normally get from combining multiple individual supplements into a simpler and more effective approach to raise your baseline health while supporting daily performance and healthy aging. In every serving of AG1, you are gonna get vitamins and minerals, stress adaptogens, prebiotics, probiotics, antioxidants, which I love, superfoods and mushrooms, which is super crazy to me, and supplements and mushrooms and digestive support. Important to note that AG1 is free of gluten, it's free of dairy, it's free of 500 pesticides and herbicides, no GMOs, no peanuts, no added sugars, no egg, no lactose, and most importantly to me, no animal byproducts. It supports healthy aging, which is gonna give you mental health clarity, focus, and energy that you need as we get older. AG1 delivers high quality nutrients and vitamins, all from whole foods. Immune defense, which is essential vitamins, minerals, and whole foods sourced antioxidants like zinc, citrus oxide, citrus bioflavonoids that support immune defenses in the body. Since I have been taking AG1, I feel like a little boost of energy. I almost feel like I don't need to have as much caffeine as I normally have. This gives me kind of the mental clarity that I need throughout the day. I feel a huge difference when I take AG1. It makes my mornings go smoother. It makes my day go smoother. Just my day-to-day -day life on a daily basis. I feel like it is improved with my AG1. 
One thing to note is the stainless steel scoop that you're gonna be getting with your AG1 powder. It's reusable and it fits right in here perfectly. It's heavy, it feels expensive, I love it. There are these individual packets that I love to throw in my diaper bag. I love to have them in my car. I have some of them upstairs for if I am just chilling upstairs and having a morning upstairs, I can easily just take my water bottle and pour one of these packets in there and boom, I have all of my nutrients and vitamins from AG1. Super simple and convenient with these packets. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code in the bottom left hand corner to get your year supply of vitamin D2 and K5 and five free of these super convenient travel packs that are my fave. Thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. My morning routine is pretty much complete. I've drink in my AG1 and time to get my day started. Mmm. Is that delicious? Is it so good? You want some? Feeding Maxwell the yogurt that I always feed him, the Stonyfield Organic Yo Baby. It's so good. It's for six months and over. And this is apple and blueberry. And it's whole milk. That's why I like it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Maxwell! Here. Mm. Was it delicious? What? You want more? Want some more? Mm. Oh, you okay? Is it delicious? Is it so good? Zuppa Toscana is some Italian sausage. I got sweet natural and Italian mild sausage. Some russet potatoes, red potatoes, or Yukon gold potatoes. Pretty much any kind of potatoes you like. I cut mine up with the skin on. Onions, garlic, I don't have any fresh garlic, so I am using the Spice World minced garlic in olive oil. Kale. I like a lot of kale in mine, so I'm probably gonna use a good half of the bag. Heavy whipping cream and some sea salt. Oh, and a chicken bouillon. In a recent vlog, I did take you guys grocery shopping with me and I showed you guys all the ingredients we needed to make Zupa Toscana. So hopefully if you wanted to follow along and grab those ingredients, I can show you today how to make it. In my last video, when I did go grocery shopping and got all of the ingredients, I ended up too tired at the end of the vlog to even make it. So I hope you guys enjoy this little cook with me. Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights. So, this is browning. I like a lot of onion and potato in mine, so I'm gonna chop up a couple more potatoes. So, I got all the potatoes, the red potatoes, and the russet potatoes, the sausage, the mild sausage, and the sweet sausage, the onions, garlic, salt, and pepper, and bouillon all mixed up in here and I'm just gonna let this simmer for like a half an hour. So this looks super good. The whole house smells super yummy and the potatoes are soft. The sausage is cooked. Everything is coming together beautifully. I'm gonna add some water and then I'm gonna let it boil for like 15, 20 minutes. Then I'm going to add my kale and my heavy cream. 
Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so so this has been boiling for 15 minutes. I'm going to turn it down, give it a good steer. Now I'm going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream, or you can use half and half. I've done both, and they both turn out fine. Um, one thing that I don't think that they add at while they're cooking it at Olive Garden is Parmesan cheese, but just to thicken it up a little bit, I am going to add some. Now I'm going to add big bunches of kale and this will be done in 20 minutes. The girls love kale, so I add a lot. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more to medium. Gonna let it cook on medium high heat for 20 minutes and it'll be done. Yum. All right, guys, this is done. Look how yummy this looks. Yum. You can add red pepper flakes to this if you want. We don't like anything spicy here, so we're not really big fans of red pepper flakes, but I know it does add an extra layer of flavor, so if you want to add red pepper flakes, go for it. So this is done. I'm going to dish up the kids' food. I'm going to make myself a bowl and dish up the kids' bowls. Yum. Hi, Hesham. Hi, baby. <laughs> I just did a grocery load and haul at Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. Can't beat their prices. Stocked up on kitty snacks, juices for sports and prime, some fruit, and yeah, just a lot of snacks and prime. Avocado. Can't forget that guy.
This day, trying to get both of the kids out of the car, one being four and the other one being 15 months, it did prove to be a little bit of a struggle. So what I ended up doing was letting Sophia get out of the car on her own time since we were right in front of the house. She was throwing a little bit of a fit and was emotional this day. So I let her just kind of do her own thing. And instead of me taking all the groceries in one by one, I am setting them gently down by the door. And I did leave Maxwell in the car since I am right here by the front door and I'm not going all the way inside my house. I do have a full flight of stairs that I need to go up before I reach my kitchen in my living room in my family room. So instead of bringing Maxwell up and posing a risk for him to fall down the stairs while I am getting all the groceries in, that is another reason why I left him in the car. Okay, now it is time for me to get my little buddy since all of the groceries are by the front door. Okay, I got all the groceries right here. So I'm gonna take the kids upstairs and then start loading everything upstairs. Did someone ring the doorbell? So by being in the car, the grocery cart, and in um, our house for a better part of the day, Maxwell was coming up on his second feeding of the day. I am still breastfeeding him. He is 15 months, almost 16 months, and I am planning on breastfeeding him until he is two or 24 months. So in order for me to put the groceries away, I did need to, in fact, sit down with him and give him a little bit of breast milk. So good. I crave these all the time. They are tempura seaweed. They're so good. They're like fried seaweed pieces and they're a little bit spicy. I don't like too much spice, but these are perfect. So good. And the only place I can find them was grocery outlet. Okay, here is everything that I got for $87 at grocery outlet, bargain market. It is 114. I have about 10 minutes before I gotta leave to pick up the girls at 140. I like to get there a little bit early. So let's go ahead and jump right into this grocery haul. Lola. So I feel like grocery Lola. outlet is like Aldi. And I think they have a lot of discounted stuff a lot of things that's about to expire, but they also have really great produce, great, great frozen stuff. And then they have really good Annie's, like Annie's Bunny Fruit Flavored Snacks. They're organic and they're in the flavor Berry Patch. I got these for $1.29. I got three of them because there's only five in a pack. I got Maxwell these Annie's Vegan Mac Shells and Sweet Potato Pumpkin. I thought he could try those. Um, they were 50 cents each. And at Target and Walmart, they're like $3, $3.50. So really good deal on the Annie's. I always notice they always have Annie's at Grocery Outlet. I got some Orca Bay Foods fish fillets for dinner. I got some organic dark sweet cherries for smoothies. Also two bags of two pound frozen strawberries. I got some fresh strawberries. These were $2.99 each for um, two pounds. 
So probably the best deal in the area that I'm at, best deal in Tri-Cities, $1.50 a pound, excellent deal. That's like summer prices right there. So these are by California Giant. I love their produce at Grocery Outlet and I always stock up there. I got a couple bushes of bananas. I got a big bag of Granny Smith apples for $3.99. These are the fried seaweed snacks that I indulge in. I actually got four packs because I can eat two packs to myself in one sitting. So essentially it's just like two servings for me. There's only a little bit in a pack, but they're super, super yummy. They're a really good seaweed snack and they're healthy for you. I got this shrimp ramen. I got a whole case of it because it was only $4.99. And we love seafood here. Three cases of prime because the prime there, you guys, were 79 cents. And they're normally at Target, three for six dollars. So they're normally a little bit around two dollars each. And they were 79 cents at my grocery outlet. So I got three 12 packs. So I got 36 of them. And I got strawberry watermelon, tropical punch, and another strawberry watermelon. Pringles snack packs, 18 cups in there. There's cheddar, sour cream and onion, and original. Guess how much these were, you guys? These were $3.99 for 18 of them. Such a good deal. This is why I love going to Grocery Outlet. I got a treat for the kids, a little eight pack of Applejack Pop-Tarts. These were, I think, 99 cents. Let's go pick up the girls. And then I got some Prego tomato basil garlic for a dinner later on this week. And I got some Prego homestyle Alfredo sauce for another dinner sometime this week or next week. Oh, can I have this? Yes, hold on. Okay, then open it. No, I'll open it. Don't open it all crazy. And then last but not least, I got this 30 pack of sweet and salty snacks with Scooby Snacks and Cheez Its in it for, oh, and there's Pringles in it. I didn't know that. For $6.99. Spend my coin for sure.